my quilty friends, it's Stacy, and in today's video, I'm going to go over my top 10 handmade gifts to sew. Now, these ideas that I've got are tried and tested. They're my most popular tutorials that I've done. What I did was I went through and worked out what are all my top videos and also what is most viewed over on my website. So let's get started. Now, of course, these are great for Christmas time, but they're also great presents any time of the year. To kick us off, we're going to start with this tutorial my phone pillow holder. And what it is, is it means you can just sit your phone on there. So you're hands free when you're cooking, doing something else. Maybe the kids are doing homework and want their phone next to them. The thing that I like most about this little phone pillow holder is it's perfect for anyone. I think it would be great for a teenage boy. Just use some fun fabric, perhaps their favorite sports team or a computer gaming fabric. You only need 9 inches by 12 inches of fabric, a bit of polyester fill and some rice. So it's a really nice little economic gift to make for someone. And I have had a lot of reviews of people saying they made them, a whole lot of them to give away to people. And they've really loved making them and people have loved receiving them. So next up we have my tea towel scarf. Now this has been super popular. What it is, is it's a scarf that you wear around your neck when you're cooking and then you've got your tea towels right next to you here ready to go when you're working in the kitchen and you want to dry your hands or maybe you want to quickly grab a pot off the stovetop it's right here ready for you and I know a lot of ladies have said they love to make these as hostess gifts and they're also really nice and economical to make say perhaps you need to make a lot of gifts for the ladies in your guild because it is really nice and cost effective you can find this tutorial and all the tutorials that I talk about in this video in the links in the description below and I'll also set up a playlist. So next up we have my double oven mitt. Now everyone loves a double oven mitt. All you need is some fabric, bias binding and some insole bright. Now I did get feedback that people said it was better if you did two layers of batting. So use a layer of insole bright and a layer of regular batting. It'll just make it a little bit thicker and a little bit more protective. I personally haven't had a problem, but I'm just letting you know that feedback. Now, like I said, it's a double oven mitt holder, and it was quite funny because in the photo on my thumbnail, it looks really huge, but trust me, in real life, it is just a regular size double oven mitt. So there we have it, another really handy item for your favorite chefs in your life. So a nice idea if you wanted to make your presents a little bit more, you wanted to make more than one item for someone, would be to make the double oven mitt and the tea towel scarf, and then grab a spatula, and this one's got a cute little cookie cutter too, and make it up as a little set. There we go. Isn't that cute? Next up, we have the vinyl zipper pouch. Now, this is a personal favorite. I absolutely love making these. All you need is a bit of vinyl and a zipper. I give you the instructions on how to make three different sizes. Plus, it's really not hard to make whatever size you want by just working with my instructions. Now, you can make them either for a male or a female, just depending on what color zip you use. And if you've got a Cricut, you could also put a fun print on the front there. So for a guy, I've used a gray zipper. <laughs> And I'm just going to pop inside a face cloth, or well, that's a New Zealand word, I think you'd call it a face washer. Some soap, Dr. Broner's, one of my favorites, and some chocolates. And you could pop absolutely anything in here. If it was for a teenage boy, you might want to just give him some chocolates and a gift card. And they can use this for anything. You can put absolutely anything in it, not just toiletries. Next up is my fabric book holders. Now I absolutely love these. All you need is three pieces of fabric at 16 inches by 11 inches and a composition book. Now if you open it up, I'll just show you. There's a composition book inside. So when the person's finished with the book, they just take it out and then replace it with a new one. Isn't that neat? And this is absolutely perfect for the journalist in your life or anyone that likes to take notes. And you can personalize these again if you've got a Cricut, you could put a nice saying on the front. And this is just a really nice, easy project that I think a lot of people would love to receive. So next we have the Quilted Bowl Cozy. And now this one is a funny one. This is my 14 year old son's most absolute favorite thing I have ever made him. Now, I didn't make him these ones. I've made these for a friend who loves handmade items. So these are gonna be for her for Christmas. One for her and one for her husband in her favorite colors. But my son thinks these are the most useful things I have ever made. So what you do is you can put them in the microwave. You make sure everything is 100% cotton if you do want to pop them in the microwave. And you don't have to though. 
but you put your bowl in here with hot or cold food and it just means your hands aren't getting either hot or cold with whatever is in the bowl. So they're really nice and practical. They're quite unique and if someone hasn't come across them before, they're really thrilled to bits with getting one because not only are they a novel idea, but they're a really practical idea and my 14 year old son is going to be thrilled to bits that I've mentioned them because he just thinks they're the bee's knees. Now, some people say that it is a little bit thick to sew here um, because you are sewing through quite a few layers of fabric. So what I did was I tested it and I made it with a batting one inch smaller than what I suggest in my tutorial. So just to make it a little bit easier when you're sewing and not so bulky, make that batting at nine inches squared and I will change my notes over on my website. So don't worry if you're going to forget, I will put a big note there in bold to make that batting smaller so it is easier to sew. But trust me, a 14 year old would love these, maybe not in this fabric, but I think anyone would love to get a bowl cozy this year. So next up we have my tissue holders. Now this is really a favorite of mine. I've been making them for years and they're fantastic when you need to make a lot of them. Let's say you need to make 10 for your preschool teachers. It's a really nice, quick and economical gift to make. All you need is a really small amount of fabric and a pack of travel tissues and there we go. You've got your little present already and I, I've just loved making these for years and years and I think you will too. Now if you wanted to make the present look a little bit bigger you could buy a nice soap, pop the tissues on top and then just wrap that with ribbon. Again just still really nice and easy but super thoughtful and just a really nice gift to receive. So next, what about snap pouches? They're a really neat little fun project to make. Now you might not have the snaps, but it will be a small investment. And I think you'll get a lot out of making these. I just love making them and you can put absolutely anything in them. My smaller size is absolutely perfect for a gift card. And you could also attach a little bit of ribbon and tie it to the Christmas tree. So just a really nice, quick little project. Next up we have my little bookmark. Now this is a super cool little present for any book lovers that you know. Doesn't matter how old they are, a child all the way through to grandparents would love to receive one of these. Just make sure you use some fun fabric that you know they would love. And my tutorial is free, I'll put a link in the description below. Just like all the other projects you've seen today. But with this particular project I do have an Etsy pattern for it as well that includes this little insert that you can pop in there and it just says that this little bookmark was handmade just for you and we pop it in the sleeve like that and it says I'll save your page and you can find that over on my Etsy store. It's not required but it is there if you'd like to include that with your bookmark. So lastly we have my reversible fabric boxes and like the name suggests they're reversible so I could turn it right sides out and you'd have the pink on the body and then the red folded over on the top here. Now they're really handy. You can put absolutely anything in them. I've got one next to my bed and I pop my jewelry in there, lip gloss and hand moisturizer. I've also used them for fabric and I know my members have made a lot of them and absolutely love them. I made this one today to put Christmas presents in and let me show you what I'm going to do with that. So I've got my fabric box here. I'm just going to fill it up with goodies. I've got a plush pair of socks, my tissue holder and the soap, a little snap pouch, a bookmark. And then what I'm going to do is just wrap it in cellophane. Gather it at the top. Now we can sellotape it if it's coming undone. Tie it with ribbon. Tie a nice bow on and then you can just fix it up a bit. If it's too long you can trim that with some scissors. And then I'll just sellotape those sides down. trimming off that excess and then I made these really cute little gift tags and you can find a free sample of these over on my website I'll put a link in the description below and they say I handmade this gift just for you please pretend to love it <laughs> isn't that cute and funny so I'll just tie that on as well and then on the back side of it I'll just write who it's to And then we have just the cutest little handmade gift ever. So there we have my top 10 handmade gifts to sew. 
Now, wouldn't you absolutely adore to receive this as a gift? And don't forget, you can get your free copy of my little gift tag over on my website. I'll put a link in the description below. Please leave me a comment and let me know which of the 10 projects was your favorite. Thanks so much and I'll see you again next week.